Hello, and welcome to the sequel to my Toy Soldiers, I guess, set of videos or my series, I guess, I made uh, almost two years ago now. Toy Soldiers was a mod on Minecraft Pocket Edition that I played around with on my stream. A few streams, I did a few streams of it. If that interests you, and it should because that mod is very similar to Clay Soldiers, it's just on Pocket Edition. There will be a link to that video I made just about a year ago of the highlights of that entire thing. It's like 20 or 30 minutes long. It covers the entire thing, and it was a blast. It's still probably my favorite thing I've ever done in this game in my channel ever. It's amazing. And for a while, I've been wanting to do something else with it. I've been wanting to do another idea, a sequel perhaps to it, but I just didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Java Edition happens, and immediately as soon as I got it, I needed to make sure that I got the Clay Soldiers mod, and I have the Clay Soldiers along with me, and you can all see all of the people. I think I originally had just green, yellow, and red from the Toy Soldiers mod, just because I think blue was glitched or whatever, but now I have blue because obviously Clay Soldiers is a lot more updated than Toy Soldiers was. And you may also notice these little tiny blocks of concrete in my inventory. Uh, that's because this is the Chisel and Bits mod. This basically allows you to go to any piece of Minecraft and go just build with little tiny versions of blocks. Any type. You can grab uh, oak, you can grab grass, you can grab sand, anything. Now. You probably already understand what I'm going to be doing with these little blocks, but you know what? I'm going to go and tell you right now. So this <laughs> is what this mod can do. <laughs> and this is the epiphany, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so basically these buildings will be used in the exact same way that I used them in the Toy Soldiers mod where I literally am going to place units in here, upgrade them real quick, put like 16 down because um, unfortunately um, the only downside with Clay Soldiers versus um, Toy Soldiers is that I can't just hold a, one bit of each team into my inventory and just place one and that's it. You actually have to place them all down like 16 by 16 by 16. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's the only really bad downside really. That's it. But aside from that, really, everything else is pretty positive. I mean, look at this. Look how cool this looks. Here's, like, a little tiny building I just made. I just made, like, a little, I guess, pub or something. Like, there's a little table and there's a little little place for people to sit. It's fun. Just nice and little fun, little cute detail right there. These grass blocks right here are just to mark out future buildings that I'm going to be building. Um, this is completely not done yet. This is this is definitely not done. I'm not even too sure if I'm going to keep this castle turret. It depends on if people can shoot from here. If they can't, then I'm just going to go and remove that. And on the opposite side of that, you have also this little base right here, which doesn't actually have a flag yet. That's where these concretes come in. Um, we're going to be doing that a little bit later, though. I'll go and show you what I'm going to be doing with those. But, yeah, this is more of a simple base, and it looks a lot more like the Toy Soldiers ones. So, basically, this will be a brand new series. I'm going to basically be restarting everything, and I'm going to be making a whole new game. It's going to lurk in the exact same way as Toy Soldiers, but the exact same way. Just the only difference is that we're using the official version instead of the weird pocket edition hybrid version that was made for pocket edition <laughs> and i even have some stuff here because i mean <laughs> there's a lot more you can give to them a lot more now people who actually play with this mod will notice that i have a lot of things missing that's because some of these things i'm gonna use but some of them i'm probably not gonna use I have an idea to maybe make it to where some of these more interesting items are stored in these. Because I am going to be doing the thing where I am going to have them roaming around and patrolling the area and stuff. So I have this little pressure plate here set up so that way they can get rewarded if they step on it. And like, maybe we could say like they're mining or something. This is like some sort of ancient mine or whatever. And look, I even I even a little chiseled it out a little bit. So it looks a little bit more interesting and looks a little bit more intricate. Like, whoa, people were up here and they were mining up and stuff. Oh, <laughs> love adding a little detail like that's fun. <laughs> 
Now, real quick, I'm going to briefly explain every single little rule that you need to know in order to understand the series moving forward. I will be setting up these bases uh, randomly, which is why I'm having four stacks of these guys right here. Whenever one of these guys will get this base, so let's say, for example, yellow has a space right now. I will be putting 16 people in each of these little houses. Houses are basically the buildings that have trap doors. So for example, if this right here, this counts as a building because it doesn't have a trap door that's closing it in. This, however, is a house where I can put all the units in there and they will be there. Houses will hold units that are upgraded. So like people with swords, people with shields, kings, Every other unit that we place down will be unarmed for them to like patrol around the areas and stuff around the little vicinity to initiate raids. Raids are very, very simple as well. All that has to happen is you see these little fences right here and you see these little holes in between the fences. Those are there for a reason. Anytime an opposing team of whoever it is that owns this uh, base, whether it be yellow, green, if any other team walks onto the space that isn't yellow or green or whoever owns the space, if five of their units get onto the space, it will initiate a raid. Each raid will be three waves long, and it will be a last team standing will get the base and will take over the base. So not only is it clay soldiers, but it's also some sort of strategic sort of like, I guess, tower defense type thing, where if blue takes this base and then this base, everyone else was kind of screwed. There's really nothing else you can do because all these guys are upgraded and you, your odds are very much stacked against you. However, if one person does not have this base or any base really for that matter in this vicinity, they will be able to spawn freely in any neutral territory. So this could be the beach down here. This could be in the forest somewhere, just not on the property of any of these bases in between the fence lines. All of these people in these neutral territories will also be unarmed. Completely unarmed, no upgrades, no nothing. But that is basically the gist of it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide who is going to own these two bases. That's gonna be what this episode is gonna be about. So this is part zero. The other parts, of course, will be the conflict and the actual game portion of this, you know, series and stuff. The actual main portion of it. So let us decide who is going to own these bases in the old-fashioned way. Let's just unleash 16 people from each team, and let's go and do this. All right. Oh, God. The lag. All right, here we go. <laughs> Got Optifine as well. So this is going to be even more interesting. All right, who's going to take this damn base? Who's going to do it? Who's going to take the base? Got Clay the Swepter at the ready. Whenever the winning team is decided. I raised some greens falling already. Some greens, some reds, some blues I see. Well, I think that might be the first bit of yellow I've seen. Maybe yellow may have a little bit more uh, guys than uh, the other teams do. We'll have to wait and see though. Well, I think yellow might take it. I think it might be yellow. Seems like there's a lot more yellow. And it is going to be yellow. It is certainly going to be yellow, I believe. Oh, there's some stragglers. I think they were hiding near the bodies. <laughs> they were hiding near the bodies. Oh, great. It's just like, it's just like toy soldiers. I need to push them in so that they actually fight each other. Come on, fight, go, fight, fight each other. Come on, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> This guy's just hiding. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. <laughs> okay. Poof. <laughs> Alright, so yellow will have the base. And this will be yellow's base. And we will, of course, be finishing yellow's base <laughs> before the next part happens. So yeah, yellow takes that base. Let's go over to base number two. Same exact thing. Who will take it? Oh, we got a we got a boy. We got a we got a YouTuber. I don't know who that is, but oh well, we got a YouTuber. Maybe that'll give um maybe that'll give that team some uh, much needed boosts. 
in uh, support, I guess. I don't know what the hell. I, I don't know. Just don't even. Just ignore me. It's terrible. <laughs> Look at all the confetti. Look at all the confetti people. And so yellow looks like they're not going to be taking the space. So it looks like it's going to be another team taking the space. Maybe blue? I think blue's going to have it. Let's go and see. Maybe blue will have it. I think blue will have it. Blue seems like the people who are going to have it. Maybe red? Ooh, it's pretty close, honestly. It's pretty close. Let's see who's going to have it. It is going to be... Ooh! Oh, it's green! I didn't even notice! Green! Out of nowhere! Is there any stragglers hiding beneath the bodies? No, I don't think so. There is no stragglers hiding beneath the bodies. I believe they got them all. Wow! Good job, green. Right. Well, for your celebration, you will go pop. There you go. You will now go pop for me. Yay. And green will take... Base number two. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this little bit. This little brief episode. This little tiny, I guess, pilot episode, I guess, as you would say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, you're awesome. And of course, guys, I'll see you guys next day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be doing Toy Soldiers officially next time whenever we do this. I will be building all of these bases up, getting everything ready. Probably gonna get rid of these castle turrets. I don't know. I'm starting to kind of. I'm starting. To, they're starting to kind of grow on me. Like they look good, but I don't know if they're gonna be great in terms of usability. I don't think they're gonna be that great. But yeah, guys, I will go and see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.